we are all aware of the steep rise in covid-19 cases across the country very likely that uh, a few new viral variants could be playing a role in that uh, we are aware of uh, the new variants that have come up uh, across uh, the world in other countries first identified in the uk or south africa or brazil etc and recently we have identified a new variant here itself uh, which uh, we have seen in high frequency in several states although there is no clear indication that this virus is responsible for the new uh, rise in cases very likely that uh, we will see new variants that could be associated with more infectivity or a more uh, severe form of covid it all this makes it very clear that it is crucial that we keep tracking how the virus is evolving what new changes are happening in its sequence so that if the new viral variant which is important comes up we are aware of that and we can take appropriate action so important to understand the host genetics and immune response to covid-19 in addition to the viral genome many studies which have been done in the west have identified several genes which uh, predispose a patient to have severe outcome uh, since we have a distinct genetic makeup it's also important for us to understand what factors what genetic factors actually predispose for severe to the disease and this can help in identifying patients who require more attention so genome sequencing for the uh, of the covid virus is uh, uh, very very useful at the moment because it uh, tells us uh, if there are new variants emerging or if there are new properties in the uh, variants other than the infection and we have to uh, therefore to get the best out of the uh, sequencing efforts we need to collect samples from as uh, spread out geographical locations as possible so that we on a regular basis once or twice a week so that we can pick uh, early if there is a new variant emerging we should also uh, focus on samples uh, from super spread events to see if there is any un unusual viral uh, uh, variant and uh, also important thing is to sequence patient samples from the hospitals if patients are having a group of patients are having higher mortality or more severe features or different response to the uh, treatment and uh, genome sequencing can then if there is any relationship with the variant and therefore the treatment or care can be organized that way so uh, genome sequencing is extremely important uh, tool to guide us how to handle this pandemic and how to uh, have strategies to control it uh, with lesser damage